Yo, yo, what is up guys, Sitko here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new Bee Swarm Simulator script. So let's get straight into the video, guys. So the first step, we have a farming tab, guys, and right here we can select our field. So in my case, I'm at the sunflower field right now, so I'm just going to select that one and convert that. That basically means, guys, that if it's going to be at 100, it means that your pollen is going to be converted only when it's full. So I'm just going to keep it at this, and I'm going to enable auto farm, guys. And as you guys can see, it's bringing me directly towards the field. But you guys might notice that it's not digging. So just enable auto dig guys and boom we're automatically digging some pollen right now and now it's going back to our hive and now it's just going to make honey automatically it's just waiting for the bee guys and as you can see it just arrived and now it's making honey automatically and yeah right here we can enable all these options as well so auto sprinkler find bubbles flames and i'm just going to enable all of these guys and basically it's going to start doing all of this stuff as soon as you're done converting you guys can also enable auto dispenser field boosters and i'm just going to enable all of these ones you guys might notice that here we have auto quests so we can automatically accept quests and confirm them we can also automatically do them and yeah, i'm just gonna enable that and you guys might notice that as soon as we finish converting all of our pollen it should start getting quests automatically so let me just show you guys as you can see it's done now and it's basically just going to the bears to get some quests it's going to the mother bear guys and now it's getting a quest as you can see it just got a quest for us i mean it just completed a quest because we already did it so now it should get another quest automatically guys for the next step we have a combat tab and here uh, we can train our crab and our snails we can also kill all of these mobs i'm not really strong enough to kill mobs so i'm not gonna enable this guys but for everyone that's strong enough i would recommend you guys just enable this because it's like really op here we can teleport to all of these fields guys clover field dandelion field and yeah just like all these fields we can also support two monsters as you can see but now it's just getting us quests. We can also teleport to our hive. Boom. We're at the hive now, guys. We can teleport to all these toys as well. And yeah, for the next step, for the mist step, guys, there's a challenge in the game. It's called the ant challenge. And you guys can have a semi god mode just by clicking this button right here. I'm not doing the challenge right now, so I don't really need this. You guys can increase your walk speed as you can see and a jump power as well. You guys can enable god mode and like never die, which. I'm not sure if it like messes up any of your auto farms but yeah we can equip some accessories guys but obviously i don't have these accessories so i can't really equip them for the next step we have the extras tab and right here guys we can hide our nickname so like no one can see us our game just lagged a little bit because i have no idea why actually but i'm pretty sure it's just hiding your nickname we can boost our fps if you guys have low fps i don't really have low fps right now so i'm just not gonna do it we can destroy decals guys as you guys can see it just destroyed the decals the reason why you might want to do that is because it increases fps we can increase our glass speed we can also float with our glider as you can see like i'm literally floating right now we can also become invisible so like it's teleporting me right now somewhere and i'm pretty sure we should be invisible to other players but i have no idea honestly and yeah here we can edit all these settings guys from the auto farm settings to the configs and token settings and like all these things we can increase our uh, walk speed and jump power we can select right here like some things that we don't want to farm we can select if we don't want to walk in the field guys uh we can also convert our hive balloons we can also select if we don't want to farm tokens but right here honestly i have no idea how this rare things works guys so if you have any idea let me know down in the comments uh we can do all of these automatic dispensers and boosters we can also save our config guys and then just load it back up as soon as we want to we can also reset it that basically means that it's going to reset all of our config we can select which npcs uh that we want quests from in my case i want all of the quests and yeah that was basically for the entire script guys i really hope you enjoyed this video Thank you so much for watching and peace.